Uh, welcome to part two of this series and uh, in part one we discuss about how you can uh, choose the variety best suited for your location and also for the market available in your location so i am assuming right now you already know which uh, variety are you going to farm either purple yellow or uh, sweet yellow so you already know which one and uh, now i want us to go to uh, step number two in uh, farming passion fruit so when you are beginner you need to have uh, those step by step so step one we already covered so we are in step two step two we're gonna be dealing with planning so planning is a very important thing so if you don't pay uh, if you don't plan you're planning to fail so you, are, you also have to make a plan that is suitable and also profitable and cost effective so and uh, when we are dealing with the plan we have to first uh, have a uh, farm cost in the plan we have to include farm cost so farm cost that involves any cost involved in farming passion fruit so you have to consider which cost and uh, now i need us to include in that farm cost you have to include uh, several things number one you have to include a uh, seed or seedlings cost so you have to calculate the number of seeds multiplied by the number of uh, money you're gonna buy either a seedling or seed then you also have to calculate or to include uh, the manure cost so you have to know uh, the manure that uh, the cost of manure that you are uh, uh, putting either for one acre two acre or three acres depending on your farm then you also have to have a uh, cost number three to include in this farm cost you also have to fertilizers so you have to consider uh, which fertilizer you're gonna be using and also the cost of each uh, type of fertilizer then we also have number four that you have to include in uh, uh, f uh, that is in the farm cost you also have to include uh, the weeding cost so you you already know that you're farming a uh, one acre how much does it cost also you also have to include if your farm is a uh, new it has never been dug so you have to include the uh, rad preparation cost and also in number six the cost that is should be included is the uh, chemical cost or the spraying cost the other cost are we included them in the bra bracket of other cost that is uh, we have pruning cost also we also have a uh, 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 disinfection or the training and also we also have uh, the wire cost or the pore cost so the pore cost is a very uh, common thing so you have to include if you don't include it you're gonna have a, dif a difficulty in the future when you are trying to uh, arrange them up uh, then uh, in the planning we also not only plan about financial because that was financial you also have to uh, include uh, the activities you have to uh, to plan for the activities such that they will not intermingle or they will not uh, uh, disrupt with each other so we have uh, in the planning of uh, the activities you have to include uh, that is uh, the time of uh, planting also you have to include the time of uh, that is a uh, germination that is the period of germination also transplanting and also uh, that is uh, grafting from that you also have to know when are you going to take your seedlings so you have to arrange time with activities so you have to know like okay this is what i'm going to do three months from now this is what my uh, passion fruit should be done in my farm after four months so you already know that so you have to arrange that time is if it's for fertilizers that should be used uh three months or two months from planting you already know which fertilizers should be used and at a specific time so you have to arrange that or activities if it is weeding you uh you arrange a timetable that says if is it a mandatory depending on uh, the richness or the soil uh, richness so you have to consider is it mandatory is it done weekly or is it done depending on your farm also you also have to include in that uh, the spraying so you have to know mostly we spray within two weeks to four weeks but now it's, it's upon you to say that in my farm I will be spraying within a uh, interval of three weeks so you have to put that together so and in planning it involves a lot a lot of things 
but the two major thing is the activities and also uh, the uh, cost involved mostly because uh, I, I find people having problems uh, when they try to uh, put post maybe they didn't uh, assume or they didn't do the planning that they have a problem of a post but when it comes it exists the cost so you better have a plan and also in that cost it will differ from location to location because uh, the way I'm buying fertilizers here is totally different from the way you can buy in your location so you have to consider you have to go to and do research on those costs before you include them in your plan so that you can have a working plan thank you for watching and wait for the part three ensure that you don't miss thank you